All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So I was updating my uh, Axon 10 Pro because it finally got an update. It's not the latest update, but it is uh, February, and we're head, we're at the end of March, pretty much. Uh, we're we're in the 20th something in March, uh, and uh, as I'm looking through my feed here. I get notification that there's new ZTE devices dropping and a lot of places are saying that these are budget devices and things like that just because it has a Snapdragon 765G which means it's going to be a 5G device. Ultimately what you're going to be looking at is the Axon 10 Pro uh, with a different camera design on the back and I think that's pretty cool that you know they're they're deciding to do something. I mean they need to do something. Uh, and they're just not looking too good when it comes to um, putting out devices right now. But the devices they have, I gotta give credit, they're actually really good. Like my Axon 10 Pro uh, is actually a solid device. Uh, no complaints whatsoever to, with this phone ever. I, I just don't have anything bad to say about it really overall because the price is such a killer price and it's right on par with all the other devices that are out right now if not better in a lot of ways and i've definitely recommended that device uh to people um i've recommended that device to people um who are in the you know in the market for a phone that is going to give you the power of some of these later devices like the s20s and all that stuff uh and still uh not break the bank so I'm pretty happy um, that you know they're they're pushing out uh, some kind of update to my Axon 10 Pro. While it's not the March patch, like I said, I'm still happy. But when it comes to the new devices uh, that are out from ZTE, I'm okay with it because I, honestly, I don't know if they're going to bring any any of these devices to the U.S. So if they do, though, rest assured, you can see them on this channel. Good, good roast of coffee. Good roast of coffee. You got to have a good roast of coffee, folks. You got to pay to play. Now, that's arena. You got to pay to play for get some good coffee. You know, Folgers doesn't cut it all the time. You got to have a nice, fresh roast. Yes, I went way over there to the right. Uh, anyway, um, ZTE is doing the most right now. You know, the phone looks pretty cool. And maybe I'll set the... Obviously, I, I guess I'm assuming I'll set it as... I'm going to set it as the... I've said it as the thumbnail uh, of this video. So the phone looks cool on the back. It, it, it reminds me of the uh, Galaxy S10 line or the Galaxy Note Lite, you know, S10 uh, Note Lite, you know, that those devices with the squared off or the pixel, you know, it reminds me of one of those. And the front looks exactly like my uh, current device from ZT. Well, one of, it looks exactly like this exactly like this in the front it's got the same size display it's ultimately this same phone with a different name and a different rear camera and a different processor if you will now there's supposed to be like three versions of it as i look here on my feed here 6.47 inch display which is this with 1080p uh it's a snapdragon 765g which is a 5g chip now some people like I said at the beginning of it, some people are going to say that that's a whack combination. Like, it's, oh, that's horrible. They shouldn't have done that. You know, they should have made it this, this, and this. Phones today do not need the Snapdragon 899, that 900. We don't need it. It's a proven fact. And in fact, um, phones that have the 700 series processors or the, the later, the, six, the higher 600 series processors are getting great battery and great performance. Google has proven this, and not just Google, Xiaomi, Huawei, they're all proving that you don't need these powerhouse, high intense, you know, the most specced out to have a good phone. That's just what it is. So, this phone is pretty much going to be the Axon 11. It's pretty much going to be the Axon 10 uh, with a few tweaks uh, uh, in it. So, you do have. Um, three versions looks like and it's this has the curved screen the overlay and curved display looks like it's going to have a red power button i think that's pretty cool i think it's going to come in three colors so you've got a 20 megapixel uh front camera again you're pretty much looking at you know what they're doing today for their current latest device uh, you've got a 64 megapixel main shooter on the back 
So that's going to be interesting with a 1.9 aperture. So that's going to be cool. 4K recording at 60 frames per second. So that's good. So we know that the 700 series can handle. We knew this already. Or if you didn't know, the 700 series can handle 60 frames per second on video. And that's something that I'm really happy about. Uh, and then you've got a 24 megapixel, excuse me, a, a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 2 megapixel macro shot. And then an 8 megapixel wide angle uh, lens. So this is this is to be expected with today's standards, you know. Uh, it, it's going to be a hot device. I think it's going to be really nice. It comes in three colors, I believe, like a white, a purple, and like a black, I think it is. Um, I think it does. Let's see if I can find that. And that 8 megapixel is an ultra-wide shooter, by the way. It's still 19 by 5 by 9 aspect ratio. It's not 20 by 9. I would have liked 20 by 9 because then you get into this right here, this really narrow like this, but it's perfectly fine. It's not too far off. The devices are pretty much neck and neck. Um... I think it comes in three colors. I have to check later. Uh, but nonetheless, what do you think about ZTE's latest offering? I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, um, I, I, I really enjoy my Axon 10 Pro, and I'm actually kind of surprised that it got an update. I mean, it's got the February security patch, but still, uh, it's something to be excited about if you like ZTE products. And honestly, folks, the ZTE Axon 10 Pro, you need to buy that phone if you're looking to save a bunch of money. That, the OnePlus 7T, all these devices, that's if you're into specs. If you just have to have the latest and greatest specs, these are some of the phones you should be looking at. The Axon 10 Pro, uh, you know, it got slept on for all the wrong reasons. And I think you really should give this a second look. It's now under 500 bucks. I mean, I've got eight gigs with 256 gigs storage, SD card, I mean, killer cameras. This is a battle that I would think you would want to see. Anybody want to see this battle? Let me know in the comments if you want to see this battle right here. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. ZTE, let's bring it.